gastrointestinal cancer refers to any cancer that develops in the digestive tract or its organs, and that covers a very wide range of specific cancer types. Moffitt Cancer Center is a comprehensive care center with experts specific to your needs. And we welcome gastrointestinal oncologist, Dr. Alan Pereira, to tell us more about esophageal cancers. Welcome, Doctor. We're so happy to have you here. Uh, so, tell us the warning signs and things we need to be aware of. Well, there are some symptoms that patients should never ignore when talking about esophageal cancers. For example, one of the early signs that you can have esophageal cancer is the uh, when patients feel that they are some difficult swallowing or mm -hmm. the feeling that food is getting stuck when they eat. Uh, this is one of the early signs of esophageal cancers and should be and should be investigated. Another one is, for example, unintentional weight loss. If you start to have weight loss and we are not trying to, this must be investigated as well because many different types of cancers can cause it. One interesting symptom that pa m many patients don't know about is when you have um, black stools because this might be a sign that something is bleeding in the esophagus or stomach. And it can be an ulcer, but cancer is also a possibility, so it should be investigated as well. There are other symptoms that other diseases can cause it, but cancer in the esophagus or stomach can cause it as well. For example, persistent heartburn. Persistent heartburn on getting worse over time needs to be investigated as well. So when you have this type, this type of symptoms and they don't go away, you're only getting worse over time, those are situations that should be investigated. Who's at risk for this type of cancer? Oh, main, most of the patients tends to be older than 45 years old, but it can affect uh, patients at any age group. But patients, for example, we have important risk factors, like patients who smoke and drink, the combination, the association of smoking and alcohol can increase a lot the chances of having one of the of types of esophageal cancers. Also, patients who have long-term acid reflux, they also have at they also are at higher risk of having the other type of esophageal cancers. Both of them need to be followed by the primary care physician and GI doctors because if they are followed correctly, we can detect cancer in, at early stages. And this is a special awareness month. How can this help? Oh, this is a month that is special because we need, we take a, this time to, uh, to remember people that this cancer is, is important, is aggressive. I mean, many patients remember about breast cancer or prostate mm -hmm. cancer, but they forget that with esophageal cancers and stomach cancers as well. They are highly aggressive type of cancers, and the chances of cure are much higher when you detect it sooner. Are there new protocols and new treatments now that people may not have heard about in the past? Oh, well, treatment for esophageal cancer has evolved uh, fast in the recent years. We have now different drugs, different medications, not only chemotherapies, we have new immunotherapies, new targeted therapies, and even at the surgical side, new surgical techniques that are more inv less invasive and more precise. So yes, many treatments, many new treatments are, are coming. Uh, maybe we have new treatments approved every year, to be honest. Last year we had one new immunotherapy and a new, another new target therapy. FDA approved for and now is now being used in a daily basis. Oh, that's so encouraging. It must be so frightening for somebody that just got the diagnosis that they have this type of cancer. What should be their first step? Oh yeah, when a patient uh, receives this diagnosis, it's a moment that they will never forget. It's like a nuclear bomb that falls in, in the patient's life. So the most important thing that the patients should know at that moment is that for the vast majority of situations, we can offer good treatments for them. Uh, and next step would be to establish care with a good medical group because getting things right since from the beginning can make a big difference. Moffitt is a comprehensive cancer hospital. How is that different from a regular hospital? Oh yeah, Moffitt is an NCI designated comprehensive cancer center and those centers, this means if you are treated in a place like that, like Moffitt, this means that you are being treated in, at one of the top uh, cancer centers in the country. They are, uh, they are known to, to be uh, for their leadership in cancer research, advanced treatments, and also in my opinion, uh, actually, the most important thing is that when you are treated in a, in a place like Moffitt, you are not only seeing a doctor. You are receiving uh, 
the care of the whole team of specialists that will design and personalize your, your treatment. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful to know you guys are there and so many great things are happening in the future. But look out for those symptoms that he mentioned. And you don't even have to have a referral to seek treatment at Moffitt. To schedule an appointment, go to moffitt.org slash GI cancer.